Hello friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making an easy light card and before we get into that, let's talk about the products we're going to be using. We're going to be using this Avriel Astronauts stamp set along with their matching dies. I just love this cute little set and I thought it would work perfectly for our easy light. So those are the images. And then let's pull out the easy light. So I've told you before, as far as interactive cards go, if it's not easy, it's probably not going to happen. But these are legit easy to use and so I was like yeah I'll give these a try so I'm going to show these to you because if you've ever wanted to make a light up card this is how to do it oh my goodness so easy um, and Amanda over at Pear Blossom Press is just fantastic so that's where you can get these bad boys and we're going to do one and I'm so excited to show you how easy it really is we're also going to be using this Lawn Fawn Push Here stamp set and so let's go ahead and get started with our card. I just have a piece of cardstock. This is navy cardstock, cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to splatter some picket fences, uh, distress paint all over that background. I'm going to make a super easy galaxy background, like so easy. Originally, I thought about going a little bit heavier into it, but then I decided, nah, let's go easy because we're going to do a light up and that's where I want my focus to be. I have some perfect pearls that I've just mixed with some water and I'm splattering that all over my background as well. And then we're going to set this off to the side to dry, but it's going to have that white speck and it's going to have the shimmer from the perfect pearls. So that'll go off to the side to dry. We're going to put our images uh, all over some Express It cardstock and we're going to put this inside of my Mini Misty. I did leave a little opening there because I'm going to do some freehand stamping. But I put it in my Misty because I wanted to make sure I double stamp these, had a good crisp image with these images. And so I'm just stamping those out and then we'll move on to uh, stamping them again. All right, now I'm just going to pull that piece out and I'll just hand stamp the little swirls those are gonna be their little attachments like their little air attachments and then I'm also gonna grab out the balloon and stamp that one more time and as I said this is some Express It cardstock and I stamped it with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and we're gonna go ahead and start doing some Copic coloring so these are two colors that you wouldn't maybe necessarily put together BG90 and I do apologize up front I didn't end up putting all the colors down or showing all the colors it's really pretty basic what I'm doing uh, as far as colors go, and if I can remember what they are, I will let you know. But this next color is YG91, so those aren't anywhere near each other on the spectrum. Like if you look at the colors, because the one is a blue-green, the other one is a yellow-green. But they end up matching pretty nicely or going together, especially for the moon. And I end up choosing some very subdued colors, really. Uh, I didn't go too crazy because, like I said, I wanted my focus to be on the lights. And so we'll color our moons and our planets that with those two colors then for our little characters they're all going to be colored the same except their skin and hair is going to be a little bit different I'm going to be using the cool gray colors for their little astronaut outfit and I think these would be fun as dark blue or heck you could color them any color you wanted really um, and so I'm starting with C4 I'm going to come in with C6 and or C5 and then C6 as well and I'm going to color them all basically the same. I know their shadowing and shading will be a little bit different because they're three separate little characters that are all posed a little bit differently. Uh, but, and I put that C5 on some areas and I end up just completely covering the, covering that with the C6. But yeah, and then I'll cover their little, whatever that's called on the front of their chest with that as well. I'll color the balloons sort of similar. We use some C4 and then we're going to come in with some a little bit of C5, and then I decided I wanted it to be a little bit more drastic, so I'll come in with the C6 as well. But I'm just showing you on this little guy basically the same kind of thing as far as the shading and shadowing goes. Uh, so I'm not going to show you all of the coloring because it's pretty much basic and using the same colors. We're going to bring in some skin tones here in a second. And I do use three separate skin tones. I have somebody specific in mind for who I'm coloring this with, for. Um, but here's some oranges. This is the YR04, so it's a yellow orange, or yellow color. And then um, bring in some YR18 as my darker orange. And then I'll just blend those out. 
and I'll use those same exact colors for the little alien as well. So I kept with the same sort of color palette. So as I was saying, uh, I have this uh, somebody specific in mind who I'm coloring these for. So I'm going to color the main little character who's going to be on the outside for the one person that I'm, I have in mind. And then the other two little characters are going to be like their friends. Um, because his best friends are, you know, like most of us, different colors. I love using different skin tones because, as I've said before, we're all a rainbow of colors, which is awesome. I love that about the human race. And so I brought in some E13 and E99. This little guy is going to have some E15, and then I'm going to come in with some E, oh, I don't think I wrote this down, E37. And then I'll blend that out. And their hair is actually going to be the same color. This is going to be the E49 for their hair, both these little guys. And then the main little guy on the outside, he is going to have some, I didn't write it down. I think it's E99 is his hair as well. The cake is going to be a vanilla cake. So it was E53. And then we're going to bring that E49 for some chocolate frosting. And then the candle will use R35. And then the same yellow that or oranges that we've been using. So I'll color this little guy the same way. So they're, it's fairly subdued, actually. I just thought that darker orange would look nice with the navy cardstock uh galaxy background that I made. All right, so now we're going to tack down all of the matching dies that go with this. And then we'll just tack that down with a little bit of washi tape. And we'll run this through our die cutting machine. And we'll have to do it a couple times because as I, you know, did stamp out the little swirl three times. I'm kind of placing things where I want it. And I'm using the star die that comes in this kit. I'm just going to mark those down where I want them. I'll bring in the stamp later and I'll show you that in a bit. And then I want to mark where my moon is. I'm going to put with a poker. This isn't necessary, but I wanted to be able to mark exactly where the easy light is going to go. So I just used a poker and that'll get covered by my moon. So I'll run that through my die cutting machine so that I have three little stars cut out. And then I'm going to use some vellum, some heat resistant vellum to stamp out those three stars using some embossing ink. I'll use my magic powder bag over the top of this because I do want to do some embossing. And so I'll just stamp out that clear embossing ink with those stars three times. And then we're going to cover that with some alabaster embossing powder by Brutus Monroe, which is a very great fine detail embossing powder. And then we'll heat that till those are smooth and melted. And then We'll flip it over and we're going to use the Y35 uh, Copic just to color the back. So it's a pretty dramatic color typically, but on that vellum it's very light. And so you flip it over and it just has a very hint of yellow. And I'm trimming these out. It doesn't need to be perfect because they're basically just going to go behind where I've cut them out. Now, if I had been thinking, I would have waited to tack these down, but this is my first time actually using the Easy Light. Didn't even really try... Uh, like watching too many videos on it. I just wanted to see if I could do it right out of the package, to be honest with you. I wanted to see just how easy these were. And so I've tacked these down and I should have waited to do that, but it's an easy fix. And I'll show you because that's the little mistake I make. Or one of the many <laughs> that I typically make. So there you have the little stars. They show through, which is awesome, but they're with vellum. And so when I get ready to start doing the lights, you'll see. My card base is some Not Your Mama's heavyweight cardstock. It's 130 pound, and so I've scored that at four and a quarter inches. This will be a side folding A2 size card. And I'm gonna take that piece, my card panel, and I'm gonna take a pencil, and I'm just going to mark where my push button is gonna go. So that's exactly where my push button will be. And here's where I was thinking, oh darn it, if I had been thinking, I wouldn't have tacked down my stars yet. Uh, because this is where I want to, I'm going to pull it away because that wasn't entirely dry yet. So it's fine. I'll pull those away. And then I'm just going to put a very, very light pencil mark as to where exactly I'm going to have my lights as well. So that's just a little simple thing. And like I said, it's super light. You can't even see it because it'll be covered by the light anyway. But yeah, so I'm just putting a little dot. So I know exactly kind of where the light needs to go. So here we have the package. It comes like this. You just break that apart and you'll pull out your little easy light. And then you're going to need one of the batteries. 
and it says it right on there, the plus and minus, that's obviously on the battery, and it also t shows on the mechanism where to put it. So that might be the hardest part, <laughs> honestly, is just putting that part together, which isn't hard at all. So that's where my easy light's gonna go. And so here's the battery. I'm looking at the plus and minus, and I'll stick that right in there. And then I'll press the little button, and you'll see that they light up. So we're ready to rock and roll. All right, now is the time where you're gonna have those, you're gonna separate your little lights, and you're gonna wanna tack those down. And mine is gonna look like a hot mess, just so you know because it doesn't matter, it's all behind. So I'm just tacking that down with a little bit of washi tape where I need each of those little lights to be. And yeah, it's gonna look like a hot mess. So I'm tacking down the wires so they aren't poking all over the place. Um, but uh, no one's gonna care, no one's gonna know unless they rip the card apart, which why would they do that, right? So I'm just tacking all those down just to make sure they stay put. And then, and I should have used some, um, I should have tacked down my mechanism to start, but it's not, you know, it really is neither here nor there. It doesn't make a difference. So those, the lights are all where they need to be. And now I'm going to just take a piece of uh, score tape and I'll stick that on the back of my mechanism, peel off the release paper and make sure that my button lines up with the dot. And there you have it. So they all light up, perfect. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I'll just test it out pressing where it would go and look they all light yay that's how that's how stinking easy this is i'm telling you so now i'll start putting all of my pieces on the front of my card panel and actually that was probably the hardest part is just discovering where i wanted to put things <laughs> and then we'll tack it all down just using some tombow mono liquid glue this is the clear glue i've been kind of bouncing around between glues and uh, this one is definitely one of my favorites this one's been around for years and I love it. And so I'm just trying to place where I want these little pieces. I cannot get over how cute that moon is holding a piece of cake. He's just adorable. And I do want the little swirly to come off of the page because I don't want it to look like he's just floating around in space, like not connected to anything. And then my little alien will be standing on the planet and he's going to be holding the little spaceship balloon. And I'll pull, uh, turn my paper over and I'll trim off the excess of that here in a second after that dries. But we're going to stamp on the inside real quick. I'm going to stamp the sentiment, have a blast today. And then I'll use my two other little characters. They're going to go down on the inside. We'll just tack those guys down. And again, I don't want it to look like they're just floating. So I've got them connected. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And this will give a lot of room to write. So I'll tack that down. And he's going to be holding the other spaceship balloon. And then we'll trim off all the excess there as well. Now to put down your card panel, you're going to want to use some double-sided tape. And I'm going to double up my double-sided tape, my foam tape. So I've doubled that up to make sure that there's plenty of room so that the light won't be on all the time. And this is just some Scotch foam tape. And I will put that all around the outside, just trying to avoid, obviously, the mechanism. And I did put one piece in the center to give a little bit of stability. I'll peel off the release paper and I'll stick down my card panel. Lining that up. And then we'll test it out again. And it just works so well. I, I love this. I want to make all the light up cards now. <laughs> Uh, I will stamp out the push me and a little arrow along with another sentiment just on some black cardstock and using some embossing ink covering that with that alabaster embossing powder. Then I'll heat set those till those are smooth and melted and I will trim those out with my guillotine trimmer. I do have to trim apart the push me and the arrow and then I'm going to tack those down using some of that same liquid glue onto the front of my card. So then it'll give the recipient you know, they'll know that they have to push on the moon in order for the stars to light up. This was so much fun, like so much fun. So I'll have a link down below for all the products that I used and especially the easy light. You're going to want to go check that out. They're so great. I want more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll turn off the light so you can even see how well they light. These babies light up. Isn't that fun? So if you've ever been a little bit apprehensive about the light ups, this one is so easy. I'm telling you, if I can do it, literally anyone can do it. 
So if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already done so. I typically have three to four videos a week and I would love it if you kept coming by. As always, thank you for stopping by and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.